one of the great things about Valheim is that the systems and mechanics are very simple and easy to understand. However, there is one which is a little bit more complicated than the others. That is blocking. Every weapon and shield in Valheim has three properties associated with blocking. Block armor, block force and a parry bonus. Block armor determines how much damage is mitigated by successfully blocking an attack. The remaining damage is best to be mitigated by a regular armor stat. When you time your block just as an attack lands, parry bonus multiplier is applied to your block armor. Also, most enemies are staggered for a short while, taking more damage. Block 4 simply determines how much enemies are knocked back after you successfully block their attacks. Or how much you are knocked back if it is a large enemy. Low block force means that enemies will not be knocked back and large enemies will knock you back more. Every time you block your stagger meter fills up and then slowly goes down. If it overflows then you are staggered. You don't want that to happen. How much the meter fills up it is determined by how much damage went through your block and its size is determined by your current max health. So the higher your block armor is and more health foods you eat, the more beating you can take. There are three types of shield in Valheim. Tower shields, bucklers and just regular shields. Of them all, tower shields are the least popular. They are heavy and slow you down a lot also you cannot parry with them. However, out of all types, tower shields have largest base block armor and largest block force and they have some very good use cases. Typically when a player encounters a troll for the first time they start running around shooting arrows at it. That's actually the least effective way to take down the troll. Running and jumping takes lots of stamina bow is also a stamina hook. Fight becomes needlessly long and all the running around tends to aggro half of the forest. Experienced players know that, so they just dodge troll attacks. But that requires some skill on the player's part. You need to time everything just right. Also, roll dodging requires lots of stamina. There's another option. Bone Tower Shield becomes available very early in the game. Eating all three health foods, even the lowest grade, makes target meter large enough to withstand troll attacks while blocking with it. Just stand, hold your block and attack when you can. Basically no skill required. It also works well against some bosses. What makes fighting the Elder or Mother hard and tedious is that many players tend to rely way too much on the bow and arrow. Get close, hold your block to melee attacks and you may be surprised how easy those fights truly are. You are a viking, not an elf after all. have lowest base block armor and lowest block force of all shield types. But they have the largest parry bonus. So when time dried, bucklers can have largest effective block armor. This makes them better suited for those players who do not want to eat lots of health food. Lower max health equals smaller stagger meter but higher block armor on parry compensates for that. However, timing mistakes can be costly and large enemies will toss you around a lot. It's a very fun way to play though.
has not much to say about regular shields. They have decent base block armor and lets you parry. If player eats two health foods there is not much of a reason to use a buckler instead. And if a player can parry consistently it's a better option than a tower shield. The most versatile shield of them all.